It may be hard to see Santa face to face this year, but he's still working hard to spread some Christmas cheer. He's hired helpers from all across the globe to bring the Christmas spirit to you at home. Merry Christmas! Santa is so appreciative to have so many helpers and um, ways to connect with the community and the kids because he's really missing all the kids this year too. Around Western New York, you may have seen a few of these and they've been planted there by Santa's helpers. I heard of some of the elves got COVID and couldn't make it out and you can't go see Santa. We decided to have the children write letters here and um, he's gonna come and pick them up routinely and then answer them for them and send them right back to him. Lisa Brown is one of Santa's helpers in the town of Tonawanda. And she says people from all over have already paid her a visit. We've had responses from as far as down the street from us to the other night I, um, I heard there was one in the mailbox from Sanborn, New York, which is pretty far away. So the word is getting out there. So please come and mail your letters to Santa. But if the town of Tonawanda is a little out of the way for you, he's also got a mailbox out in Lockport. Yeah, this year the Keenan Center didn't want to miss out on the tradition of the Lockport and uh, Western New York community coming to the Keenan House Gallery. So this year to make it safe and fun, we did launch the uh, Letters for Santa Project Mailbox. Just like his other helper, the people at the Keenan House will also help you get your letters to the North Pole. We've definitely witnessed a lot of happy drop-offs and smiles of kids even peeking into the mailbox to wonder where it goes and how the letters get to the North Pole. So it's been a really fun experience for all of us. Santa will be accepting letters from the Keenan House up until December 20th and in the town of Tonawanda until the 18th. Addresses for both locations can be found on WKBW.com. We just want to wish everybody a happy holiday season and be safe. Wear your mask. Wash your hands and have a holly jolly Christmas. Jetty Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.